Israel is beautiful. It has ancient history, delicious food, and it's lively, but Israel is also complicated. Take the West Bank, for example. The West Bank is home to the Palestinian people. It has ancient sites that are holy to Arabs and Christians, and has modern day cities that are colorful and thriving. In the cities of the West Bank, there is much more than meets the eye. So rather than read about the West Bank, Abraham Hostels and Tours has an incredible tour that takes you here behind the walls and into the cities of the West Bank. Come along and spend the day with me exploring the West Bank. This tour includes stops in several main cities and sites in the West Bank and the first one of the day in Ramallah. It's one of the main cities in the Palestinian territories. It's modern and vibrant and bustling with people. It's the perfect introduction to traveling in the West Bank and learning about some of the history. And here in Ramallah is the tomb of Yasser Arafat. Arafat was a famed Palestinian leader and his tomb is this beautiful complex. It is also the presidential complex for the Palestinian leader. So we are on the way now to Jericho, our guide having a stop here to take in the views of the Jordan Valley. Would you believe me if I said I'm now standing in the oldest city in the world? Up next on this tour is the city of Jericho. So there is Jericho and there is ancient Jericho where I am right now. Archaeologists have found evidence of people living here from 10,000 years ago. And you know you're at the archaeological site when you see this beautiful fountain. Okay, next up on the tour, we are at Qasr al Yahud. This is a really holy site in Christianity. It's on the edge of the Jordan River. It's this beautiful stone complex, the steps that lead down into the water. On this tour in the West Bank, you can expect to see a lot of holy sites. So yeah, these are the steps into the Jordan River, and then right behind us across the river is Jordan. And now, Thankfully, it is time to eat. I'm super hungry. This day has been really long and really fun, but the table looks amazing. This food looks amazing, so let's eat. So now we are ready for the last stop on the tour, which is Bethlehem, and we're gonna see some pretty amazing sights in Bethlehem, so let's get going. On this tour, there is a lot of murals. There's a lot of artwork here in Bethlehem. This is an original mural by the famous street artist, Banksy. We are walking through the old city of Bethlehem to the Church of the Nativity. We are hurrying so we can make it before the next church procession starts and make it inside the church. So interesting, the main entrance to the Church of the Nativity is this entrance right here. Okay, mask on. So we are now inside the Church of the Nativity. This church dates back to the fourth century. Our guide just told us that there was a huge restoration process in this church recently. So now the church is in pretty amazing condition. You can see a lot of the old mosaics. You can see some of the original tiles that date back to the fourth century. Next up on the tour is the old city of Bethlehem. We're walking through it right now. It's this like very lively market, very colorful. We're walking along to our last stop of the day and it is a sweet treat that I'm very excited for. I think I know what it is because I love it. So I'm excited. Okay, the dessert was exactly what I thought it was. This is kanafe. It's a traditional dessert. It is goat cheese with sugar syrup and it is absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to try this kanafe. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's the end of the day here. The tour is wrapping up and we have stopped by to see one more original Banksy work of art. This is just outside the old city of Bethlehem.
And then our last stop for the day, one stark feature of Bethlehem is this border wall that's behind me. Much of the West Bank is surrounded by a physical wall. And today, this wall is central to the Israeli-Palestinian debate. And as you can see, much of this border wall has been covered in artwork. The West Bank is an extraordinary region that is well worth a visit on your next trip to Israel. Traveling in the West Bank can be a little tricky for individual tourists and it's important to remember that you do pass through checkpoints to get into the West Bank. You need to bring your passport with you to come here. But this experience with Abraham Tours is sure to be one that you will never forget.